Hey people, welcome to the best meals after gym. Usually after a big gym session, I love coming back to my kitchen and making a quick 15, 20 minute meal. Now I really, really focus on quick, healthy food, okay? That's like the main, that's my main premise of cooking. I don't wanna be in the kitchen for hours. I wanna be in the kitchen for 15, 20 minutes maximum after I've been to the gym so I can cook a lovely, healthy meal. So today we're making a vegetable omelet, okay? We're topped with feta cheese and a bunch of different beautiful spices which I'm gonna show you. It's all down here, but firstly, that's our our little beautiful cat as you can see i see in the corner daisy you're gonna watch us cook some food are you i think she's gonna watch us cook a little bit of food isn't she oh she's a bit scared of you guys sorry about that she's wondering what the hell that bloody thing is get that camera away from me she's thinking right so down here chaps let me talk a little bit about what we've got in our ingredients we've got some wonderfully fresh ingredients here where we've got uh, some spring onions i've got some red peppers i've got some guacamole it's not necessarily guacamole that's some avocados that i crushed earlier on i've got some feta cheese i've got some mushrooms over here chestnut mushrooms and i've got some eggs and at the same time i've also got a bunch of spices here which i'm going to use i'm using oregano paprika i'm going to use some chili flakes if you'd like to add that for a bit of a kick i'm using garlic and salt and pepper okay so these are all the beautiful ingredients this should take me maximum 15 to 20 minutes maximum i'm going to try and smash it out as quickly as possible so the first thing we want to actually fry up i'm going to get my pan just over here now one thing you guys will know me for is being as healthy as possible okay i'm all about being lean all about having a six pack all about looking as best as possible i'm not out here trying to promote being a big muscular bodybuilder no one likes that people don't find that attractive okay i'm all about the athletic body muscly big muscles also looking strong but also being lean i want that six pack i want to be on the beach in the summer i want people to see my six pack i want i want that lean strong look i don't want the big bodybuilder look and i don't want to be skinny okay so i pride myself on healthy food and as you can see here what we have is we've got vegetables for all different minerals and vitamins we've got eggs for protein we've also got a bit of extra protein there with the feta cheese and feta cheese is probably one of the healthiest cheeses that you can buy in the supermarket so let's get cracking first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get some bit of extra virgin olive oil into our pan over here. So let's turn this baby on. I would suggest a medium heat to start frying these things up. Get a bit of extra virgin olive oil in there. This stuff is so good for you, by the way, guys. Extra virgin olive oil, I cannot tell you. This is what you wanna be having on a daily basis. If possible, even a teaspoon of this in the mornings, okay? Two things I like to have in the mornings are a teaspoon of honey, and a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Right, so we warm that up a little bit, warm up the extra virgin olive oil just slightly. Now the first things we're gonna cook is we're gonna cook the red peppers because that's what needs the most amount of time. Okay, so get the red peppers in there like so. There you go, get those babies in there. And don't worry about the seeds as well. It's nice to actually have the seeds in there. The whole vegetable is absolutely fine. Let's put it on a slightly higher heat because it's not taking a bit too long. All right guys, so I've put the red peppers in first. I'm gonna fry them for about a minute and then I'm gonna get the mushroom straight in there. Now the spring onions at the very end is the final vegetable I'm gonna put in. Okay, so first of all, you start with the red peppers, fry them for about a minute, get them a little bit softer, then get the mushrooms in and then we'll put our seasoning in at the very end when we're ready. So onto the mushrooms we go. Red peppers have been frying for about a minute. Let's get the mushrooms in there. Yes, look at that. So we wanna give these a little mix. I'm actually gonna put the heat up a bit higher, up to about seven, it goes up to a total of nine. Give that a little mix, guys. So you just wanna give that a little fry. You don't need to cook them all the way, okay? About two, three minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I genuinely enjoy cooking healthy food. I actually like, it's part of my life. It's part of something I enjoy doing. A lot of people don't actually like cooking, you know, if that's the case and you're going to eat out all the time, I don't recommend eating out. I really don't. You can do for a bit of fun, a nice meal on the weekends. Don't get me wrong. I go, I've been to the best restaurants around the world. But because I've been to them around the world, now I love doing this because I can control my portions. I know exactly what's going in my food and I can buy high quality ingredients. And I don't need to leave the house every time I'm hungry. So here we go. Give them a little mix. Right, that's looking good. Right, next thing, we're gonna chuck in the spring onions, but I do think this needs just a little while longer. Once we've chucked in the spring onions, I'm gonna chuck some of the seasoning in, and then I'm also gonna re-season when I put the eggs in. Okay, so we can get the spring onions in now. Look at that, they're lovely. Look at the lovely colors we've already got going on. This lovely red color of the, of the red pepper, brownish, dark color of the mushrooms, and we've got this lovely green that's about to go in. Look at that, it's 
all about the different colours, the rainbow colours. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Give that a little mix. It's starting to smell really good. Mm. So you're going to fry the vegetables for about five or six minutes because the eggs don't need very long. The eggs need about, again, about four or five minutes, and I'll show you how I cook them so that the yolk is still runny. All right. We've got oregano, we've got chili, we've got garlic, salt, pepper, and paprika. So I'm going to, let's get a little bit there in. So some pink Himalayan salt right in there like so. I'm going to turn the heat down slightly to about medium heat because it's frying a bit too quickly. Get the black pepper out. There's a bit of black pepper for you. Bit of oregano, I love this stuff. As a Mediterranean, I could eat this stuff all day long. Absolutely love oregano. There you go, put some Mediterranean flavors. Bit of garlic, not too much. Garlic has a very, very strong smell, but makes everything taste really good. And some paprika, let's get a dash of that in there. Alright guys, so I've cooked the vegetables for about five minutes as you can see. They're starting to get a bit softer. This is perfect. Look at these wonderful colours. I mean, this just makes me happy looking at this. So I've cooked it for about five minutes. Now what I'm going to do, get it back on the heat. I highly recommend that you get a bit more extra virgin olive oil so the egg doesn't stick. So, there's a little dollop of olive oil, extra virgin. Now, be very careful as you crack your eggs. Right, so I'm going to drop the heat to about three out of nine. Now, as you crack your eggs, be super careful here, and you're just gonna crack it over the top like so, okay? And you wanna put it on a low heat. Very important you put it on a low heat. You do not want your eggs to cook too quickly right now. So I'm gonna put in five eggs into my omelet, because I need the protein. Each egg gives you about six grams of protein, and after my gym session, I could do with about 35 to 40 grams of protein. So here we go, that's the fourth egg. Let's get the final one in there. Okay, so got my five eggs in there. Right, now that the eggs are in, we wanna do another bit of seasoning, okay? We season the vegetables. You wanna season the eggs with a bit of salt. There you go, a little bit of that. Bit of pepper, second time I'm seasoning the dish. Wonderful bit of pepper right there. Look at that, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, I'm also gonna put some chili flakes. If you don't like chili, you can obviously skip this part. I'm gonna just grind some chili flakes on top like so. A little bit of, there you go, look at that. That looks fantastic. Right, now, this is, this is the sexy part. Get some feta cheese. We're gonna just Chop a couple of pieces like so. And actually, the best way to do this is with your hands, okay? So I've chopped it into three. Grab it with your hands. And as you come over here, I'm going to crumble it all over the top of the omelette. So don't be scared to squeeze and crumble. Can you see that just falling? And look at that. That looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. Crumble the feta cheese on top. That's what's going to give it flavor. And also, it's an extra kick of protein for a man that's trying to build solid lean muscle. I'm trying to get strong as hell. Right, really important you remember this step. Cover the pan, get it on low heat. It's so important that you actually get it on low heat. So I've got it about three out of nine on the heat. I've covered the pan like so. The importance of that is so the top of the eggs actually cook and so the feta cheese actually melts into the meal. Because at, at the bottom, what we've got is we've got all the vegetables, then we've got the eggs, then we've got the cheese. And I need to squeeze down here on the actual lid to make sure that the heat stays inside. Now, give that about three to four minutes. Keep your eye on that and make sure that it's not overcooking, okay? So you need to get to the point where when you shake the pan, you can see that the yolks are still runny and they're still moving from side to side. That's the key here because you actually want nice runny yolk, but you want the egg whites to actually be cooked. So we'll give that a few minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna come over here to my, to my avocado that I chopped up earlier on. We are going to season our avocado. We don't want boring old avocado on its own, so I'm gonna give it some black pepper, like so. Bit of paprika, bit of paprika here on the avocado. Because I love chili, I'm also gonna put a little bit of chili on the avos there. And then top it off like a true Mediterranean with my favorite extra virgin olive oil. So we're just gonna get a little bit of olive oil on there, bit of olive oil. And as you can see, Instead of having boring smashed avocado, you now look at that. Good that looks. You can now see there's some style to that. Look at the beautiful colors and the smell. Oh, it smells fantastic. That chili always gives food an extra kick. So I'm going to put that here in the middle of the table and I'm going to start setting my table so I can... If we come back to the pan, what we'll see is it's been about three, four minutes and what I want you to... Now, as I shake 
the pan, I can still see the egg yolks are shaking from side to side, which is perfect. I'm actually gonna give it another one minute. As you can see, do not be scared of actually cooking it slow. It's only taken me about 10 minutes to get to this point. So the final five minutes is going to be making sure it's cooked at the top. Again, making sure that cheese is nicely melted. And then I'm gonna serve this up on a plate and I'm gonna eat because I've just come back from the gym. The idea is to get healthy vitamins, minerals, and proteins into you as soon as possible after the gym. Some of you might wanna take a protein shake because you're not very muscly, but others like myself, we're just trying to stay lean. I don't need the protein shakes. We're just gonna have this wonderful meal. So it's been about another 30 seconds. All right, guys, so it's pretty much ready now. Take off the cover. Oh, look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now, as you can see, as I shake it from side to side, you can still see the yolks are moving and wobbly, which means it's perfect. The egg white is cooked. The cheese is melted. This is ready to go. Look how fantastic that looks, guys. For anyone that wants to train, anyone that wants to be an athlete, anyone that wants to be ripped and shredded and strong and healthy, you want to take my recipes. That looks absolutely astoundingly tasty. So let's serve it up. What we want to do is, I want to just chop that section like so. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. The smell, guys, I can't tell you how good it actually smells. It smells incredible. Wonderfully smelling dish, super healthy. And I just want to show you at the end. Right, guys, the final test. As I cut into this yolk, I expect it to pour out. Okay, so get that camera nice and close over here so we can see. Are we ready? Have I cooked this right or have I made a failure of it? Oh, look at that. That is exactly how it should look. It should pour out. Everything's cooked. The yolk is still looking good. I'm going to try it as you guys stay with me here just to make sure I've actually made a good meal here. Oh, I wish you could try this. The flavor's incredible. And it's all because of the seasoning. You can mix and match with the avocado. I can taste all the different flavors. The garlic, the red pepper, the mushrooms, the salt, the paprika, the feta cheese, those explosions of beautiful flavors. Life's about eating healthy food. Life's about eating tasty food. This ticks all the boxes. So run with that recipe and I hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you next cooking video. Take care for now.